just got it all over my shirt. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, can you guess what season it is? I'm gonna be doing a fall makeup tutorial, an all matte fall makeup tutorial, and a fall hairstyle. So this video is sponsored by Bumble and Bumble. This is like one of my favorite hairstyles for the fall. I haven't done it a lot, but I can tell you that it is so easy, it's cute, and I feel like it's very casual, like you can wear this. I wouldn't wear this to like an interview somewhere, but I definitely wear it like every single day. It's so cute, I love it. I'm gonna show you how I got this all matte makeup look and this fall hairstyle right here. And I like the way this came out because it is super voluminous. And I did not tease my hair, not once. I used this Bumble and Bumble thickening texturizing spray and it was literally everything. I did this without damaging my hair. I really love this product, especially if it's healthy for your hair. I just love anything that's not going to damage my hair naturally because I've colored it so much in the past. I am trying to keep as much health into my hair and my life as I can. So I'm gonna show you how I got this pumpkin spice latte smoky eyeshadow look. That's what it reminds me of. I'm gonna show you how I got this makeup look right here and this hairstyle. So if you wanna see how I got this look, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be a part of the quad fam. And without further ado, let's get on to the video. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with my eyes first. I want my entire face to be matte, my eyes, my lips, my face, everything. So because I'm doing more of like a smokier kind of look, I wanna start off with the eyes. So I'm gonna have no makeup on my face for the beginning of this tutorial, if you guys can handle that. I think you guys can handle that. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on my eyes. I'm gonna prime my eyes with the, this is the Magnetic Matte Eye Color from Nude Sticks. This is actually a collaboration with Melissa Alatori. She came out with a little palette of different color lips and eyeshadow sticks. And these were the ones that were in her palette. This one is taupe right here. And then this guy over here is chocolate. Melissa said that these are really good as primers. So I'm gonna start off by using that all over the eye. So I'm gonna take that all over the lid from the very base of the lid all the way up to the crease like that. She had a launch event for this. She said they're really, really good as a base. She also mentioned that these are not going to budge. So I thought this would be perfect for this look because we're going a little bit smokier. There's something about smoky, warm fall eyes, like matte smoky fall eyes that just get me into the fall vibes. Like I really, it just makes me so happy when everything is matte, smoky, red, orange, and brown. I don't care how many times people do it. I don't care how many times I see it. Every time fall comes around, it just makes me so, so happy. I'm actually gonna add the chocolate on the lower part of the lid because we are going a little deeper here, but I want that brown base. So this is a great as a base, this brown gradient we're creating right here. These are also good for like an on the go kind of a look just pop them in your bag and use them when you're out and about so next I'm gonna go into the crease so for the crease I'm gonna be using some oranges the perfect oranges in my opinion not probably a little biased but they are like my perfect orange are from the latte palette so I'm gonna take pumpkin spice I'm gonna mix it with hazelnut I'm gonna take that on this fluffy brush right here from it's an iconic London brush so I'm gonna take that My bad. <laughs> I'm gonna take, wait, I'm taking caramel, pumpkin spice, and hazelnut all together. And we're gonna put that in the crease. So I'm going in a very soft pressure and I go back and forth like this and then I also do some of these guys as I'm doing it. It just helps, personally, it helps me blend out the color a little bit easier. It makes it look a lot softer. So I just do these back and forth with the circular. Whatever's comfortable for you, but it really helps me out. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I put most of the color on one side so that I have a little bit of a clean side to just kind of go over the edges without getting a new brush. That's called a lazy blending pack. Ooh, I already feel the fall vibes with this orange. Okay, I'm gonna go into hazelnut with a different brush, something that's more densely packed so we can get more of a payoff with it, which is this one right here. This is from Luxie. What is this? The 229 Tapered Blending. So this one is more dense. And focus it on the crease, but really deepen that crease up with it. And then with a clean brush, I'm just gonna soften out the edges. 
weave it back and forth. Now I'm gonna take this red color right here from the MAC Patrick Star collection. This is called Overpacked. Start to pack that on to my lid just below the crease. I'm trying to debate if I wanna wing or not, if I should just keep lashes and then that's it. Hmm. We're gonna do a baby wing. We're gonna do a little baby wing. We have our wings going, and I'm gonna put some mascara on and some lashes. This is such a ratchet hack, but I had a bunch of these from Starbucks because they did a shoot and I kept them, and I'm like, what am I gonna do with them? Oh, it actually keeps the coffee really hot, and I just found this out right now. Ratchet Coffee Hacks 101. The lashes that I'm gonna use are from Lily Lashes. These are the Ella Minks, and they are so, so pretty. They're always kind of like my go-to when I wanna have like a full fluffy lash without looking like you can't see my eyelids. All right, so now that we have our lashes on, I'm gonna go on to my face. I'm gonna come back to my eyes later so I can do the lower lash line. I like to have some concealer on there and some primer before I start doing anything under my eyes. I want a super matte face, so I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty Matte Perfection Pre Makeup Base. This is actually a lot different than what I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be like very thick and matte feeling, like velvety, but it, it's not. It's very hydrating and thin. Okay, so it dries pretty quick. I can feel it drying on my face right now, and I can definitely see how it is going to mattify my skin, it almost feels like I'm putting on a tightening mask. I feel it. For foundation, I'm gonna use the Derma Blend Flawless Creator Liquid Pigment in 37W. <gasps> oh, no! Oh my God, I just got it all over my shirt. Do you see the amount of coverage in this? Oh my gosh. I've had a lot of favorites. A lot of favorite matte foundations. Uh, Double Wear, Jouer, and now this one. The Lawless is good, but for matte, this is on point. You really don't need concealer after this, but I'm gonna go in with some concealer. But first, actually, I'm gonna go in some bronzer. This is a bronzer from Guerlain. I don't know how to say it. I always get it wrong, but it's a terracotta spray. It's a bronzer spray, so I'm gonna spray it on my face. Really, Actually, I'm gonna spray it on my hand, because that can get really dangerous. Looks like that, and I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender and just bronze up. My face this is a very natural way, like if you wanna go subtle and not like crazy with a bronzer, this is a very natural way to bronze up the face. The concealer I'm using is the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer in M17, just to brighten up the under eyes. And also just to highlight the face. I love brightening the center of the face with concealer. It gives you the most natural effect. And right here, And then right after my concealer, I'm gonna put on some setting powder to set everything in place. So I'm gonna go on the under eyes again, the lower lash line with the Latte palette. I'm gonna take this brush right here. This is the wide shader, hazelnut in pumpkin spice. We're going to go right underneath that with that red color from the MAC Patrick Star palettes in the, I don't know if there's like a shade. I don't know which one it is, but we are gonna put the red shade down here. And for the inner corner, because I do want to make that a little bit brighter, but we are not using a highlight. We're gonna use just a brightening color. So I'm gonna take vanilla cream and pop it right on the inner corner. I'm gonna take some bronzer, bronze up the cheeks. Actually forgot to put mascara on my lower lashes, so I'm gonna do that really quickly. Back to the bronzer. Okay, so all that's left is the lips. I'm gonna take the Nude Sticks Lip and Cheek Pencil. This is the shade Purity from the Melissa Allatory Collection. And then I'm gonna fill it in with the MAC Patrick Star Ultimate Diva Retro Matte shade right here. So the makeup is done. Now I'm gonna show you how to get this fall hair look. It is so cute. I saw it on Pinterest and I was like, I gotta do that. It's super cute and it's something that you can like wear casual and every day. So I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit and then I will show you how to get this super cute fall hair, hair look, not tutorial. It is. This is a tutorial, but I'm trying to show you a look. 
And before I actually get into this hairstyle, I wanted to show you what I used right when I got out of the shower. My hair was kind of damp. I used this Bumble and Bumble Thickening Great Body Blow Dry Cream all throughout my hair before I blow dried it. it makes them super voluminous. After I do that, I get started with styling. Super easy, very cute. You can wear it like every day. It's a very casual kind of cute look for fall. Start to wave the ends of my hair. I'm just gonna take about this much hair and work it around the wand. I always leave a little bit of hair out at the bottom and then let it go and then it looks like that. The same technique to both sides. I'm gonna wrap it around the wand away from my face. Leave a little bit hanging from the ends because you don't want it to be curly all the way to the end. It's gonna look like quinceanera hair and you don't want that So for this look. So I'm gonna leave it there for like, I kind of left it there for a long time, but it's gonna look like this. And you're going to do that all around the head. So I'm going to put another section down. I usually only do about three or four sections because I don't want it to look too perfect. I never like really perfect clean hair. I always like it a little messy. So what I do is I take the next section, half it, bring it to the front, and I start from the back. Then after each section, I fluff it, fluff it up, kind of run my fingers through it, break the waves apart, and then I just see what it looks like just to make sure I don't need to make any adjustments and there's no, like, no straight hairs hanging around. And then I just whip it all back, clip it up, and then work on the next section. Okay, so now we're done curling all of the hair, so I'm just gonna take it out and it should look like this. So when it comes to waves, personally, I like both more loose waves and tight mixed together. I just, I don't know why, personally, I just love it. I feel like it gives my hair more body. Now we're gonna go ahead and pull up the hair. You can see, just looking at my head, I have a weird hairline right here. So what I do is I put in a little bit of shadow for this area, just because it's a weird hairline. So what I'm gonna do is take this guy right here and pull up half of my hair just at the top in this little tiny ponytail. First, I'm gonna <laughs> put some eyeshadow right here because of this is looking crazy. Okay, I'm back with a better hairline. Uh, I always get asked this, did you get a hair transplant or whatever? And it, the answer is no, I literally just use eyeshadow. Eyeshadow and Facetune. This is the only reason why I don't really put my hair up is because of this. So my hair is looking pretty flat right now and for this look I want to have a little bit more volume right at the top and just a little bit more PC texture. So to create that look, I'm gonna take the Bumble and Bumble Thickening Dry Spun Texture Spray. And this actually, they have like a full line of thickening products. That is absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna take this guy right here. So what I wanna do is go really close to the root, like right there, super, super close, you guys can see. And you're supposed to shake Shake it up, hold it about 10 inches away, and you wanna spray it in even strokes where you want your hair lifted. So, let me turn this way so you guys can see a little bit better. So I'm gonna shake it up and spray it. And there's a little bit of grit in there so you can feel like it's gonna actually work and hold. So I'm gonna push that over, start at the base, and then flip it over. I'm gonna do at least three sections to really get a good volume going. And just by doing that, and then just kind of like work your hands in there, kind of press it forward, you have already so much volume without teasing it. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side right here. And you get so much volume. I'm actually gonna put some in the ponytail too. It's looking kind of flat. You can add extensions to your ponytail if you want a little bit more volume, but I just, I'm just gonna add some of this stuff. And the cool thing about this is that you can still move your hair around. It's not gonna feel stiff and stuck. And once I've just sprayed them through the strands that I want, like near the ends, then I go through the bottom really quick just to fluff up the hair without teasing it and bam it's like it's not stiff it's not 
sturdy. It's very movable, but you still have that full volume. So this is the finished look. Super casual, very cute. I feel like this is major fall hair right here. I really like this because you're not messing up your hair with teasing your hair, like physically with a comb. It can really damage your hair. So I really like this guy because it's movable, It's you can touch it, it's flowy, but you still have that like mega volume without damaging your hair. So if you guys wanna check it out, I will have the link below. You can go to bumbleandbubble.com. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a big Big thumbs up a sweater thumbs up I love doing this to me I don't care how old I am I am always gonna do this with my hands I'm gonna be 60 years old walking around like this hey guys I'm always gonna have my thumbs in my sweater it's just so comfy for me um, but anyways if you love this video if you liked it if it helped you in some way then go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and before you leave I have some two videos over here hanging out waiting for you to watch them so check them out if you haven't already and that's it I love you guys so much I will see you in the next video bye guys